Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. You all remember this from yesterday's video where we had someone called T.L. Reeve, who was an author. He was saying about Vic and obviously with these photos, he was saying the girl was put up there to accept it. She didn't like it. She wanted to walk away and she said it was disgusting. And obviously you had our favourite LJ Montello who came out and said, oh my God, this is horrible. How dare you? Know, how dare they shove this girl up there to get it? Well, the girl in question, who was a woman, she's... I feel really sorry for her because she's actually had to come out and clarify something. Because, again, she has been shown that people on the Kick Vic side have been nothing but vultures towards her and her photo. So, this is what she actually wrote yesterday on Facebook. While this is new, apparently I'm being used for the whole Vic Mignogna stuff from a video from 2008. It was back at the Onicon cosplay contest for a charity auction. I knew I was going to get a kiss on the cheek, I was 18 at the time, so it wasn't creepy in the slightest to me. Also, it was for charity. Anyone saying I was uncomfortable needs to stop spreading false accusations. The face I made was one of pure fangirling, excitement and hilarity in front of everyone. My friends and I egged each other on, we had fun. It was 11 years ago, do not use me to spread your shit agenda, keep me out of it. Well. The sad thing is, Greg Duche and a few other people, they just cannot leave this alone. And it's really sad that, again, these people are coming out and, again, they're saying something stupid, which is literally they're trying to turn it on his head. And, again, Greg Duche, being a lawyer, he's going to try and use every little sneaky thing that he knows. So this is what Greg Duche has actually had to say. You all hunted her down and badgered her into giving a statement in less than 24 hours. Impressive. Well, first of all, no one actually hunted her down and badgered her. The video is there on YouTube. Anyone can look for it. So again, Greg Duche, you're wrong. You're not a very good lawyer if that's what you got to come out with. Number two, I'll make sure to let the person who told me the details know that they were wrong. Well, again... He's trying to actually just push away, like, oh, I don't know this, oh, no, it was a lie, he told me. I didn't believe it, I just said it. But you went online after that and you said everything imaginable about Vic because of this photo. And number three, aren't you the same person who blocked me a few weeks ago? And so he's calling Joshua there the B-word, and it's like, come on, right, Greg, you're meant to be a grown-up. You're meant to have ran for office. And I can see why you never got into office. Because if this is the way you conduct yourself on Twitter, I would hate to see how you conduct yourself in real life. Especially if you're a supposed lawyer who's well-respected. Because I really do doubt that. The only person who would, would respect you is probably a dog. And that's if, that's if you have a dog. That's even if, if you're allowed to keep dogs. Because the way you talk is sometimes it's like, wow. You know what, yeah, I'd get that died done for animal cruelty or cruelty to anything. Just because of the way you are and the way you act. The way you speak to people as well is mind-numbingly dumb. Because for a person who is meant to be a lawyer, again, you're, you know, you're meant to be part of the society who is like, yes, you know, we're well-respected, we're this, we're that. Well, you're not. Look at you. You're on Twitter arguing with a bunch of people all of a sudden that you, you know, literally didn't know anything about until two months ago. And you only came in because you didn't you didn't win to go into office. And you're like, hmm, I need money. I need clients. Let's find the person who's making the most noise and join their cause. That's what you've done. You join their side and you've done that. And it's making you look a right fool. But apart from Greg, there was the other person who actually uh, said something about this as well. And this was the after Emmett Initiative. He's the one who said about that, you know, his po his uh, Twitter feed was turned into a dumpster fire. So, this is what uh, he had to say. Okay, so let's clear some things up. According to a post, this woman is not underage. I never said she was. And this kiss was not unwelcome. I never said it was. It's super weird that I'm being asked to give clarification on things I've never said. But there you go. First of all, who was actually telling you to clear things up, Emmett? No one asked you to clear it up. You've basically just gone, right, okay, I need to uh, 
do a bit of damage control, I need to say something quick so people don't think, you know, like, oh my god, it's all out with it. But out of all of this, for me, one of the best things is they're actually starting to realise there's evidence out there that proves them wrong. This goes to show that they are falling from the inside. And they're crumbling because of this. Now in my eyes. Just because they're like oh my god. What do I say? Because if someone is so hooked into a line. And you know. They just keep going and going. Lying and lying. You actually start believing what you're saying. Which is what a lot of you have done. But now. You're starting to actually realise. There's video evidence. There's photographic evidence. You know. There's the actual person involved. But you still got LJ Montello still going around. Good old Lynn, who is literally still, she's just blinded by everything, you know? Unless she's right, that's it. She doesn't want to believe anyone, even on her own side. But that's, you know, that's a video for another day. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you lovely people soon.